Thanks for getting us into some really important issues. And I was scribbling notes furiously, and I will try to respond to what you're talking about. First, I definitely support additional uh, funds because we're seeing a whole host of, of challenges facing law enforcement. I voted for the Tupperville Amendment, for example, in the Senate to provide additional funds. And it really has to be targeted in a way that ensures that all jurisdictions can uh, be in a position to participate. The COPS program has certainly been something that allowed for that. And we're going to press the Biden administration very hard that however the final judgments are made with respect to law enforcement funding, that it takes into account the special needs of rural areas. Now, with respect to bipartisanship. You know, I've always felt that the most important thing I do, and I spend a tremendous amount of time at it, is try to bring both sides together. And this gives me a chance to announce something that's going to happen in about a week. Senator Mike Crapo, Republican Senator of Idaho, and I, I'm the chairman of the Finance Committee. He is the ranking Republican. We work very closely together, and we will be starting hearings on mental health. And as you have told me, you and your colleagues, much of the challenge in our communities is sort of mental health and law enforcement are kind of two sides of one coin. And I think you're aware that I was able to get a billion dollars in the spring for a sort of Oregon version of what's called cahoots, where the mental health folks and the law enforcement people go together so that in effect, if the situation on the street is a mental health situation, which it often is, mental health people go, somebody's shooting a gun and that kind of thing, the law enforcement people go and that money will be available through the state for local jurisdictions and we can work with you on it. I consider it one of the most important things I've ever been part of because as you know, there's been gridlock, you know, between the two parties on so much of law enforcement. And my cahoots legislation, uh, Senator Cory Booker, the Democrat, has said nice things about it. And Senator Tim Scott, the Republican, have said nice things about it. And that, to me, is how we're going to make, you know, the best policy and the hearings that Senator Crapo and I will launch in about a week. The first one is going to involve a blockbuster analysis done by the Surgeon General of the United States on mental health, because mental health needs have just gone through the stratosphere here post-pandemic, the isolation, the challenge of young people trying to learn online and, and preferring you know, in-person instruction. Uh, we have veterans and others, so many, who have been trying to wrestle with mental health challenges. And these hearings that Senator Crapo and I uh, have uh, put uh, in place starting in about a week, I think are going to be very important for law enforcement and all those who are involved in kind of community services. Now, a little bit of an update. The bipartisan infrastructure law includes the bill I wrote, the Western Tribal Water Infrastructure Act, to create a $250 million grant program specifically for tribal drinking water and improvements and rehabilitation. And I wrote the grant program to make a priority the kind of situations we're seeing um, in Central Oregon, like at Warm Springs, where the EPA has declared a state of emergency and the drinking water shortages are threatening the health and safety of those who are there. So now EPA is setting up the program to start making the grants later this year. I'll be working with the tribe to ensure that the new money gets to the reservations and Merkley on the Appropriations Committee will be uh, helpful. Uh, I'm chairman of the Senate Finance Committee. I wrote the original legislations and Merkley on the Appropriations Committee will be working together um, on that. And finally, Another bit of good news is uh, in the bipartisan infrastructure bill, it re-upped uh, the secure rural schools bill and some of the money for the counties that they uh, depend on for rural law enforcement uh, 
activities, law enforcement on, on public lands, and uh, PILT money. So uh, this is some good news for um, Central Oregon as well. So that's a little bit of a kind of overview because uh, frankly, Sheriff, what you're doing and the work you're doing on, as you know, we've talked about some of these issues before, we really want your input.